Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Chelsea with 1,271 rating versus Duelist Alliance best format with 1,215 rating, and this is going to be another high rated DB video, hopping right in, we will go ahead and we will see a couple ties, and then we're going to see Duelist Alliance when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, they'll decide to go first, 41 versus 40, opening hands, we have Droll, Arvata, Valor, Garunix, Ash Blossom, they have Barrier, Low, Prayer, Sir Arvis, and Pre-Prep, okay, so... Kind of lucky that we lost the rock, paper, scissors shoot, to be honest, because uh, we weren't going to be doing a whole lot going first here. Uh, so the opponent's going to go normal, summon out, low, effect, and then they said reading. Okay, uh, probably just going to Valor this. Um, they said that is fine. Okay, uh, interesting. Bring out Radiance, activate pre prep, and then they said reading. Okay, so they're going to Ash Blossom that. Activate barrier and then barrier effect to go search. Grab out the skull guardian, which makes you think it was even worth ash blossoming this. Cause okay, here's the thing, right? They don't know what these cards do, which I don't. I don't get how you're playing fire king and you don't know what these cards do. Um, assuming that they're playing snake eye fire king, but uh, you could let this go through and then draw, cause you pretty much know that they have spell in hand since they brought out trap card. Doesn't like guarantee it, but you can you know kind of predict that they drop draw on res and then activate ritual spell. Uh, go ahead, get rid of low, bring out skull guardian, and then activate the low to summon itself out. I guess it's like fine though, because it stops them from getting the ritual spell. Um, they might add queen and then you can draw them, but now they're gonna go radiance, put back the Sararvis. Bring out the uh, Voiceless Voice Sararvis, and then pass turn, they draw Effect Veiler. Okay, so their hand just sucks. So they're going to go main phase. Yeah, just a myth defeat. They just can't do anything. Their hand literally just wasn't playable. Uh, so on to the next game, we have Original, Garunix, Kieran, Island, Arvata. Also, it was interesting that they summoned out Skull Guardian in defense instead of attack position with how much attack it would have. But I guess it does play around Fire King stuff. Uh, they have Super Poly, Sir Arvis, Ash Blossom, Droll, and Lockbird, and Low. Okay, we have Original, Garunix, Kieran, Island, Arvata. So, we're going to go Kieran Effect, Destroy Arvata, Special Summon Out, Kieran, then Garunix Effect, Summon Out, and then Garunix Effect, go Destroy Ponix. Okay, then Activate Island, Island Effect. Oh, it's awkward. It wouldn't surprise me with that Ash Blossom. Because otherwise they destroy Kieran, they search, and then they get to bring out Arvata, which is a negate. So yeah, so they just go ahead and Ash, and then Original, Send. But it's like, then you could just drop Draw on them and save Ash to force them to destroy. Uh, they bring out Snake Eye, Ash. Ash bring out Poplar. And then Chainlink 1, Poplar. Chainlink 2, Draw. That's fine. Uh, Poplar up in the Link Karibo. Poplar spell and trap zone itself. Snake Eye Ash in itself plus Poplar. Bring out Flame Burge. And then Link off into a Hida. Flame Burge effect. Bring out Poplar. Snake Eye Ash. Hida. Bring out Ash Blossom. Then we will Link up into a Sunlight Wolf. And then Tribute for Link Karibo. Sunlight Wolf. Add back Kieran. That's fine. Uh, go up into Princess, and then Princess Effect, bring out the Arvata from the Graveyard. Okay, now Link off into Whale, and then just pass turn here. Okay, okay, um, that is fine. It does make you question though, like, why do we go in the Hida? Couldn't we have done this without going in the Hida? Because, I mean, we turned, like, two monsters in the heat uh, to steal, and then we made Sunlight Wolf with the Hida, so it's, like, we really had the same amount of bodies, right? I'm fairly certain, so, like, it didn't really change anything, um, besides the fact that we've gone through Hida. Pass, they draw Ash Blossom, Super Poly, discard Sir Arvis, use Arvata plus Whale to go ahead and summon out the Mud Dragon. And then main phase, Mud Dragon effect, call Light, normal summon low, low effect, Bring out the Radiance. We do have Sarvis Engraver that we can shuffle back with this. Uh, so they said it's fine. Radiance. Shuffle back. And then we're going to go search out the Queen from the deck to the hand. Now here. That's fine. Queen. Discard. 
dump and then go search now after they search here is where we can go ahead and cure in effect uh because otherwise they're gonna go queen tribute special one two special search then they have the negate set up so pop special summon it's a oh oh true 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 ponix was indeed destroyed by garunix that is true that is true that is true so yep it does have to add back uh, so now they're going to go Garunix Special Summon, Garunix Effect, go destroy Kieran, and then Kieran Effect, Chain Ponix, Summon out from the hand, Summon out the Arvata, and then we can go Pop, so Pop the low, uh, and then said so forgot Ponix to search, uh, but yes, you declared a, well, they declared the hand effect, and then they popped, and then new Chain Link, it's Ponix effect to search, so it's not like you missed the time to do it. You still have the time to do it. Uh, so they're gonna go search out Skyburn. Okay, haven't seen Skyburn in a while. Uh, they're gonna go battle phase, attack over the Arvata there, and then they're just gonna let it go. Okay, um, could have Arvata to summon back. Now they're gonna go Queen, but the thing is, you only get to keep it until the end phase. But maybe the opponent accidentally pops that or something. Or you could like princess pop that one now. So now they're going to go tribute. Bring out skull guardian. By getting rid of mud dragon plus ash. So summon skull guardian. Skull guardian effect. They're going to chain princess. Well they get to activate low. Yeah yeah yeah. So skull guardian low. But it's like. Is princessing this even worth it? Because they just get prayer to go summon out from the deck now. So it's like. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, Tribute, well not Tribute, but Pop Pop, they're going to Special Summon out, they're going to go search, and then they're going to search out the Sir Arvis, and then activate Prayer to go summon, I guess it's fine, because now we have Princess on field, and they're pretty much in the same spot, uh, they can Dino Mondo, and then Dino Mondo back in the engine, so summon Dino Mondo, effect, spin back, put back Princess, that's fine, pass, draw Kieran, and then draw face. So can I read Sarvis? Okay. So Dino Mondo tribute to summon back out from the graveyard. And then they're saying think here. Um Yeah, it's like they have original Ponix coming back. They have Whale. They're thinking if they want a Skyburn pop radiance here. Which doesn't do anything. You may as well wait. Yeah. I mean, you could wait until they activate at least low effect, and then you could sky burn. But okay, they're going to let that go through. And then a low effect, go bring out barrier. And then standby phase, ponix at back. That's fine. And then main phase. So we're going to go island effect, go destroy and search. We can destroy and search here? Okay, uh, I mean, we've gone through three Kieran, Garunix, Ponix, and Arvata, so that means they're playing, you know, a bigger Fire King package than normal, which I guess makes sense. They are playing Skyburn, which is, like, also something that's not normal. Uh, so they're going to go Radiance, try to pop Island, chain Skyburn to pop both the back row, and then chain Skull Guardian to shut down Skyburn. So now, Island's going to go ahead and get popped by the... Uh, the radiance there that's fine and then new chain link kieran one ponix two special summon and then special summon back out the garunix from the graveyard go pop the back row and now we're gonna go garunix ponix so yeah that's gonna go search out sanctuary destroys an arvata okay so we're one of the uh three arvata players arvata summon out kieran original Banish, go search Snake Eye Ash, put back Flame Burge, okay, and then the opponent just submits defeat. Alright, 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 so on to the next game now. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see Voiceless Voice go first. Opening hands, we have Original, Snake Eye Ash, Arvata, Garunix, and Evenly. They have to be playing multiple Garunix. There's no shot they opened a one of each game, uh, which is just incorrect. Then they have Queen, Diviner, Cosmic, Pot of Prosperity, and Queen. So go main phase, queen, uh, dump the ritual spell from the deck, go ahead, search out the skull guardian, and then nothing on res, normal summon diviner, diviner effect, go dump the tierras, and then tierras effect, tribute, special, diviner go summon, that's going to bring out the low, 
And then low effect, go bring out the Radiance, Queen, Tribute, the Tierra, Summon out Skull Guardian, and then Skull Guardian effects, search out the Sararvus, all right, Radiance, I mean, sure, Tributing Tierras, I guess, you could just Tribute low and then bring it right back out, and then at least keep a random body on the field, uh, but they're going to go ahead, bring out the Dragon Sage there, and then Pot of Prosperity, go Banish 6, and you know, just trying to hit a Floodgate here. So that hits Cosmic, Ash Blossom. Okay, so yeah, just going to grab Ash Blossom. No Floodgate, sadly, for them. Because uh, obviously, like, a Floodgate with a Negate is just, like, it's game a lot of the time. Uh, so set Cosmic Pass, they draw Kieran. And then Main Phase, Normal Summon, Snake Eye, Ash, Effect. Chains Ash Blossom on that. Okay, original Send Snake Eye Ash, and they're going to chain Skull Guardian onto that. And then we're going to go Battle Phase, End of Battle Phase, Evenly Match, and then they're going to chain to Bounce Back, Special Summon out the Sir Arvis there, and then just go Banish everything else face down. So now we can go Kieran Effect, Destroy the Arvata. Yep, destroy Arvata special, and then we have Garunix effect to go special, and then Garunix effect to go destroy. Our opponent also put a Ash Blossom in the graveyard for us to use. So Garunix go ahead, destroy Kieran, Kieran effect, summon out Arvata, and then pop Sir Arvis. Now they do have Prayer that can banish and go summon. Sure, bring out another Sir Arvis from the deck. That's fine uh that is rough though that is rough because yeah we just have to pass now because if we like go in the heat uh they just stop the summon and then we just pass anyways uh so pass then they draw into called by the grave all right so let's see they still have another skull guardian uh which is really all that matters skull guardian another ritual spell so they can go like Queen. I guess they don't even have to have another ritual spell because they do have the Sir Arvis voiceless voice in hand. Said said I have any play. Uh bro, I just got bro, I just asked for good manners. Yeah. Okay. I mean yeah, that is fine. That is fine. Not have to be rude. Okay. Uh so they're gonna go Queen Effect. Um we're gonna go Queen Effect. Uh, there's like no shot we're going Queen Effect, right? We, they just go Arvata. Yeah, they just go Arvata. Why would we go Queen Effect? Why wouldn't we go like, switch to attack, beat over Arvata, they summon back out Kieran, that'll get to destroy during end phase, or you could called by Kieran, uh, then you can just like, main phase two, combo, win the game. Okay, well obviously they got a plan in mind, so they're going to go ahead, they said thank you, in response, they said it's fine. Okay, go search out Skull Guardian, and then special summon out the Sararvis voiceless voice by putting back, um, okay, oh true 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 true, this can't be put back from the banished my bad i forgot about that for a second to be honest with that kind of put back from banished um but now they're just gonna go switch to attack and then battle phase uh called by onto kieran and then beat over the arvata sure and then beat over the kieran sure mean phase two they're gonna go queen yeah, Tribute, Special Summon out, and then Effect to go search, grab out low, Normal Summon, Effect, yeah, now it's just easily game, bring out Barrier, Barrier, go search for Queen, we don't have Trap though to make this like 10 times easier, um, otherwise I could like go into, uh, well, actually hold on, what did they banish? They banished, okay, they didn't banish anything, so they still have SP Dino Mondo at least, so they can go like, SP, banish the original out of the graveyard, and then Dino Mondo to out the Grunix. So they're going to go ahead, SP, effect, banish Snake Eye Ash, which it probably is not as good as banishing original, but uh, it, it definitely works. It definitely works. 
and then go up in the Dino Mondo, Dino Mondo, go ahead and out the Garunix there. The next turn, we have Dino Mondo that's going to tribute for this and special this back out, so we have a negate for whatever their top deck is. That is not quite how this card works. Um, this is only during the opponent's turn that you can do that. But sure, we can just pretend that that was done on the opponent's turn for the negate because it didn't matter anyway because they're top decking Garunix. They, they shuffle their deck, right? Yeah, I'm not, I, I know they already did. But there's no shot they're playing this many Garunix in their deck. It's just, yeah, okay, pass. And then they draw Cosmic, go main phase, Queen... Uh, discard, dump ritual spell, probably just add, I mean you could add Star Harvest back from the graveyard if you want to, or they could grab another Skull Guardian if they play three of it, uh, so discard, dump, oh, or grab the Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph, okay, uh, then they're gonna go ahead and search out low off the barrier, activate Queen, banish, tribute low from the hand, special out Odd Eyes, low effects, summon out, and then let's see, that's 41, 27, so just link those off into like anything, and then that's game. So uh, should have negated Safara. Ye, yup. Uh, go up into Lina. That would have been GG. That indeed would have been GG. All they had to do was switch their monster to attack. It, all they they could have played around it. They could have went Sir Arvis, beat over the Arvata. Okay, um, you know. Main phase two, SP, Dynamondo, literally do the exact same play, except not lose to our Vata negate. So like I don't know why they played into it. They must have been tilted by the the draw phase thing that happened. Uh, but they're gonna go ahead and then just poke for game. Yeah, this is at 41. So GG, GG. We're gonna end up seeing voiceless voice win there. Uh, sadly, game one, the Fire King Snake Eye player bricked. Uh. Yeah, that this game they didn't play so well. It was kind of on both sides that the play was a little bit weird. Um, yeah, they should have Arvata the queen, but the opponent also should have beat over Arvata anyways to make sure that it didn't matter. But we're gonna see that the match was about 48 minutes long. Also, it's very hard playing against Voiceless Voice for the first time. Honestly, playing against most decks for the first time, it can be very hard, but Voiceless Voice especially, because their cards just have, like, so much text. Uh, and they do so many different things. Like, they each have multiple different effects. I guess so do, like, Snake Eye cards, but I don't know. They're, they're not... I guess everybody has to know what Snake Eye cards do. I mean, you also have to know what Voiceless Voice does, too. It's kind of crazy that they decided to play Snake Eye Fire King without at least reading, like, you know, the other decks that are like viable but with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe